Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about asset inheritance. You can think of inheritance as extending or making a child of an existing asset. We can see an example of inheritance in the nodes window. So the camera is an extension of the spatial node and the spatial node is an extension of node. Basically what this is doing is you're passing on functionality. Spatial has all the functionality of node and camera has all the functionality of spatial and node. Whenever you save a scene, in a way, you're saving your own class. And not only that, but a class that you can extend. In Godot, the way that we can extend a scene is by going up to Scene and going down to New Inherited Scene. And then from here, we choose the scene that we want to extend and we open it up. Now when you look at this at first, it looks exactly the same as the scene that we extended from. But what's going on is we've inherited everything from that scene. In an inherited scene, there's some things that you can adjust and some things that you can't. So anything that's below the root node and inherited will be grayed out. And this means you can't rename it, duplicate it, or change its type. You can rename the root node though. Now, depending on what you've inherited from the base scene, you can modify the properties. So for example, in this mesh instance, we can come over to mesh and we can add a mesh. Additionally, there's nothing stopping us from extending this further or adding other scenes into this one. The only thing you wanna be cautious of is cyclical inheritance. So as an example, if I save this extended scene and I go back to the base class, if I were to try and take this character extended and put it inside of the base class, this would be a bad idea. If you try and play the game, your game will crash and the engine will crash. It'll be stuck in an infinite loop talking to itself. If you work this way, you're gonna to wanna to plan ahead so you don't run into issues like this. All right guys, that covers asset inheritance. If you thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.